I have the great pleasure to introduce you to a talented artist from Cameroon in Central Africa. Um, he will share with you a very unique vision of the truth of the orange trees. Um, of the writer, French writer, Antoine de Saint-Exupéry. He was also quite famous in the US, in North America, and in Canada as well, especially during the World Expo of Montreal in uh, Quebec province in Canada. But now back to Africa, I have the great pleasure to give the floor to an amazing uh, artist. We will share with you his own truth of the orange trees. Thank you for listening and please um, enjoy. When I say Kelen Kele, you say Tata. And Kelen Kele, Tata. And Kelen Kele, Tata. When I say Ohio, you say Yo, Ohio. Ohio, Yo, Yo. May your heart not be vain because of what you know. Take advice from the ignorant as well as from the wise man. For no one can reach the limits of arts. And no artisan has ever acquired perfection. The perfect word is as rare as the green stone. It is found at the ladies on the mill. This 2000 years old truth is not from me. It is from Vixir Pata Hotep. Say Pata Hotep. Pata Hotep. Two millenniums later, Antoine de saint exupéry will come to the same truth, to the same conclusion when he says, truth is not that which can be demonstrated by the aid of logic. If orange trees are hardy and rich in fruit in this bit of soil and not that, then this bit of soil is what is truth for orange trees. And tonight, the bird confirms the truth travels and it sings. Just like this, you're part of this singing as we never tell a story alone in this part of the world. Your part will be this. Let's go. When I say Kelen Kelen, you say Tata. Kelen Kelen. Tata. Kelen Kelen. Tata. When I say Ohio, you say Yo. Ohio. Yo. Ohio. Yo. My name is Charles Kwasi. Please call me the Upo out, the Pathway Usher. And I will tell you, and I will swear to tell you, the truth travels lost just like that bird singing. The truth travels like the singing bird and traveling, it takes different shades. The truth is the rainbow. Tonight, the story is entitled Ngokwakalak, the global village, or the truth as the rainbow. When I say Kelen Kele, you say Tata. A Kelen Kele. A Kelen Kele. Tata. Kelen Kele. Tata. The village was calm and quiet and peaceful. 
until that day when Zepnet, say Zepnet. 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 Zepnet is the eye of the sun. That was the name of the princess of Ngokwala, the global village. The village what was all peaceful until that day when Zepnet, the princess of Ngokwala, fell in love with Bambap City. Say Bambap City. Bambap City. Bambap City. Bambap City. She was in love with this boy, but the king, the father, would not want to hear it. Why? Because Bambap City was not a descent from a royal family. And the king would say, this marriage is impossible unless he has royal blood flowing in his veins. He is not accepted as in law. And knowing this, knowing this reality, one man who had his eyes on the king's daughter. One man called Jin Jin Kap. Say Jin Jin Kap. 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 Meaning the money testament. The money testament wanted not to marry the young girl because he was old and unnotable and he knew this would not be possible. But he had a son, and he wanted his son, gone Mugu. Say Mugu. 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 He wanted his son Mugu to marry the princess of Ngobwara, although his son has told him, I don't love her. But do you know what his response was to his son? But who asked you to love her, son? Whoever asked you to love her? I don't even want to know if she loves you or not. Boy, don't be stupid. You will help me solve my problem of poverty. Don't make the same mistake like me. Don't be stupid like me. Do you think if your mother was a princess like her, I would be so poor as I am right now? You would marry that girl and know that marriage here, marriage over here in this village, in our culture, is never a question of two individuals being in love of whatever you want to say. It's a question of two families entering into a contract. And your role as my son is only to go and execute this contract with that girl. You will marry her son. Gigi Kab wanted his son to marry Zahneb, the beautiful daughter of the king. But Zahneb was in love instead with Bambap City, the young boy who had no royal blood. But to make this happen, Jinjinkat had to go and tell the king that Bambap City was not a good person, that Bambap City has charmed the daughter of the king that Bambap Sitik was a master in witchcraft. And so, because the daughter was so in love with this young man that she would not listen to the father, the father had to call the council, the father had to call all the judges, all the notables, and they sat and they judge Bambap City and condemn Bambap City for charming the daughter of the king. And they condemn him to death. And that's how they put him into a prison and set the date. And when the day came, they gathered wood, put wood over the prison house and put petrol over the house and set the fire, the house in fire, set the house on fire. 
the house on fire and the house burned. And the daughter would cry. And she would cry her beloved friend like this. Shake it your mama said, hey, hey, hey. yeah. Bow on this is it, hey, hey. yeah. Where the nest is, me, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mama o chenda anda mama o chenda anda mama o chenda anda mama o chenda anda When I say kele kele you say tata kele kele tata kele kele tata When I say ah oh hi yo you say yo oh hi yo oh hi yo When I say ah ya you say ya ah ya 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 ah ya 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 so the village was quiet and the king decided a date for the marriage, for the wedding of her daughter with the young Mugu. But surprisingly, people saw Mbambak sitting again, wandering around with Zeneb, the princess of Ngokwakala. And people wonder, how did he escape the fire? He is a real wizard. And that's why this man, Jinjin Kap, who wanted his son, who was desperate to see his son marry the princess so that he could become rich, he could have his hand of, on path of the wealth of the kingdom ran again to see the king and to say the guy is still alive. But how did he escape? This is because the friends of the princess, the friends of Zutnek, the princess of Ngokwara, had dug a long tunnel going from her bedroom to the prison house. Just before the day, the house was set on fire and they managed to save the young Bambab city. That's how Bambab city was discreetly saved from the fire. But everybody in the village believed he was a great wizard. And that's why they decided, the council held again and decided that since he could not die by fire, he will definitely die by the opposite. They decided to kill Bambab City by water. He was arrested again and a coffin was made. And this coffin was made and they organized the day of the execution. And on the date, they push the coffin in the big river and the big river carried the coffin away and the big river flowed right through to where the water stops flowing, where there is less sun, where the water goes hard and stops flowing. That's how Bamba still got out of the coffin and started a new life over there. In the village, there was a big party because the wedding day had arrived and everybody was happy, mostly Jinjin Kap, who knew this day was his day. He took his son to the wedding place and the son stood there waiting for the young lady to be brought over. But to the surprise of the whole village, Zeneb couldn't be found anywhere. She had disappeared. And the king was so disappointed 
And the king started looking for his daughter everywhere. And the king started crying, looking for his daughter who had disappeared and regretting for trying to force her to marry this other young man. Everybody cried in the village. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 oh. So your part is, whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Can we try it? Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. When I say kere you say tata. Kere kere. Tata. Kere When I say aula aula, you say aula aula aula. Aula aula. When I say Africa, you say le Africa. Le Africa. Le. When I say Africa, you say le. Africa? Le. Africa? Le. So, the young daughter of the king had disappeared. But suddenly, one day, as Mbamba City wandered on the beach, trying to find some water for his new accommodation, he found a coffin similar to the one that had brought him earlier. And he rushed and just said, oh, somebody else has suffered the same fate as me. And he broke open the coffin and surprisingly, he found Zahneb inside, laying, not breathing. He picked her up and rushed her to his house and set up and put up the fire and warmed her up. And she woke up later on. And he was happy. And the two settled on that side of the wall where the water stops flowing, where the sun just come obliquely and not perpendicularly like in the middle of the village where they come from, like at the center of the village where they came from. And the two settled there and founded the family and gave birth to many children and realized that as years passed by, the children, the color of the skin of the children, the complexion started becoming different, started becoming lighter. Their hair was different, their nose, their faces. And this is how the world had different colors, different shades people of different hues, of many hues, people of different complexion. And this is, this was the truth of that part of the world, like the truth of the orange trees. This was the truth of this end of the world that was different from the truth of the center of the village. The truth is just rainbow, depending on the side of the world. The truth has different colors, just like the bird sang. 